Hi y'all, it is Wednesday. I just finished my work day. I shot this look earlier today for a brand campaign and I'm just gonna zhuzh up the look a little bit because I'm going to a party, but it's a sad party. It's Hannah's goodbye party. Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube. I am pretty sure she's talked about this before on her channel already, so I'm not spoiling anything, but she is leaving LA. I'm really sad. She's moving across the country, um, closer to her family on the East Coast, which I'm so happy for her that she's doing. I know it's been a plan uh, in the works for a long time, but I just wanted to like zhuzh up the look a little bit. I was drinking my, what is this? Watermelon, lime and watermelon aha, so good. Okay, I thought we would play with the Byredo palette because I just, it just has a lot of neutral, shimmery, pretty shades, the kind of shades that I love to wear. So I'm feeling kind of blue because Hannah and I um, finally got the chance to meet in person towards the end of last year, like last fall, and we really hit it off. It was just one of those friendships where you meet and you feel like you've known each other for a really long time. I hate when people say, oh, it's so hard to make friends as adults, because I don't think it's like the making friends part that's hard for me anyway. It's more that you come into exposure with fewer new people. I'm sad to see her go, but I know that we will stay in touch, we share this this funny little world of YouTube that we inhabit together, but I am sad to say goodbye. We're also forever connected through Smidge, our cat, our kitten that we adopted from Hannah who rescued her from her backyard. So we will always have that. I really like how buildable these shadows are. They're not like boom in your face pigment, but um, they're just easy to wear. I do think this palette's been out of stock at a lot of retailers though, so I hope they bring it back soon. And then I'm gonna touch up my blush. This is the Keir Weiss Cream Blush in the shade, I don't know what the shade is. Sun Burst, Sun Drenched. Sun Glow, something like that. I'll link it below in the description box. It's a really nice, warm peach on me. It shows up on the cheeks, I feel like, a lot deeper than it looks in the pan, right? a couple of unplanned purchases, which I feel like is what happens at Home Goods. I'm also drinking a strawberry basil lemonade and I added some sparkling water and it's so good. It's like 92 degrees here today. Summer is here, or at least a heat wave. I think it's gonna go down in temperature next week, but it is flip-flop weather. It's tank top weather. 
and I needed something refreshing to drink. So let me show you what I got. So the first thing I'm going to show you is an unplanned purchase, but I'm really excited about it. This is what being in your 30s is. It's buying home goods things and being really excited. So I got the most beautiful marble serving board. It looks like this and it has these like blue tones in it. Can you tell? It's blue and pink and um, marble is always a good pastry board as well, which I don't have um, because the temperature is cool so you can work with pastry on it. I have no idea what kind of marble it is, but it's beautiful and it was $10. So isn't that so fun? Then I got a shelf organizer. <laughs> Very exciting stuff over here for our spices, um, which are in a cabinet um, above the uh, stovetop. So I got that. I got a spinning turntable for more sauces, spices, soy sauce, that kind of thing, also in our cabinets. Our cat ghost is scratching on his scratch pad over there. So if you hear anything, that's why. Um, I also got a regular like plastic non-slip cutting board because we have a few really cheap ones that I got from Target that are already falling apart. Um, this is not a super nice one, but I figured we just need another one, honestly. And I actually got another cutting board that I'll show you in a second, but it's always good to have plastic cutting boards around for meat and other things that can absorb potentially into wooden cutting boards. Cool. Okay. Here's the other stuff I got. So I got a wooden cutting board. It's really heavy. Um, it's really pretty. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but it has a little like, what do you call this? Okay, now the cats are running around. Um, it has a little like ledge edge to catch the juices of whatever you're cutting. Um, wooden cutting boards are a little bit more high maintenance because you do have to oil them so they don't split, but we just needed a really big wooden cutting board and I thought this one was really pretty. And then I've got a couple of cookie sheets. How cute are these? They're like a robin's egg color. They're speckled and there's this like light blue shade. These are heavy duty cookie sheets. The ones we have right now are also really cheap and they're like resting and they're really <laughs> messed up. So we needed some like hardcore heavy duty ones. And these are fridge, freezer, and dishwasher safe, which is nice. So got a pack of those. I got a salad spinner, really exciting stuff guys, um, because we don't have one. We have colanders, but we don't have a salad spinner. And the last thing I got is hand soap. I just got it because I we need hand soap, but also I liked the glass um, dispenser. It looks pretty heavy duty and it looks like something I'll be able to reuse. And it's like a fluted blue glass that I thought looked nice. So that is my very exciting home goods haul. But I did get everything for under $100, which I feel like is pretty good because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight items, which is pretty good. Can you say hi, Schmeech? What's all this new stuff, huh?
Gabby. I had a really nice um, leisurely lunch with my friend Gabby who works at Stradia Skin. You guys may know Stradia Skin. Their cult classic product is the liquid gold. I actually also got to go to their offices um, and kind of visit behind the scenes and see where everything is made. It was really cool. I didn't film it because I'm a bad influencer um, and mostly I was there to catch up with Gabby. But I just got home. Um, we had lunch at Manuela. It was amazing. I was really happy to see her, but my Sephora order came in. I only placed an order for two items, but I wanted to show you. So this first thing is the Gucci, the new Gucci liquid matte lip color transfer proof. That's what it's called. I got it in the shade they met in Argentina, which is, and I'm wearing it right now. It's this really beautiful bright rosewood and I have this in the matte bullet lipstick formula, but I have a feeling that has expired. It's a couple of years old now. So I wanted to try it in this formula because I like the idea of this shade in like a blurred velvety lip look and I had to try it on right away and I do really love it. First of all, it's beautiful. I mean, it's Gucci, so come on. Like it has this vintage gold cap. It has the Gucci lettering. This formula is really interesting. It feels more like a velvety, blur lip stain, almost like a K-Beauty Velvet Blur lip tint, or if you've tried the MAC Powder Kiss formula, it feels a little bit like that, slightly thinner, but it gives you that weightless kind of stain look without feeling like a traditional uber pigmented liquid lipstick. It has a bit of like I don't know, softness to the formula. So I'm wearing it now. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this shade like all spring because it just feels really happy and it's actually a shade of pink that I really love. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Peach Gasm. I actually have never tried this formula and I have to admit part of why I got it is that it's finally back in stock. They just restocked all of their shades and I haven't seen it in stock in a really long time and I've been curious to try it and Peach Gasm just is such a me kind of shade. So I'm definitely going to be testing that out soon, but I just wanted to show you it's a modest haul. I am considering testing out the Rare Beauty skin tint. I forget what that's called. I've struggled with the Rare Beauty foundation in the past and with their shade range. I never quite felt like I had a shade for my skin tone. And I did try a couple of shades back in the day, but I might take a look again, um, just because I really like the price point. It's $29. I like skin tints in general. So I'm tempted to try that. Let me know if you're interested in a review on that. Oh, also, um, Ali, the founder of Stradia, sent me home with a really nice goodie bag full of their products, and I wanted to share two of my favorites. So Liquid Gold, which I've talked about just now, um, is their kind of cult classic product. It is a great barrier builder, like barrier fortifier. So it can be used as a moisturizer or as a hydrating step, a moisturizing step underneath a richer cream. But I think this has, it has niacinamide and I want to say like ceramides. Yep, ceramides. So if you have any irritated skin, sensitized skin, this is a great option. And um, the Velvet Cleansing Milk I've talked about before and I just talked about in my empties, but it's one of my favorite cream cleansers. If you like a creamy, yummy cleanser, this is an amazing option. So I have to do some work now. Um, I'm just gonna put my hair up real quick. I have to, I'm so behind on emails, I have to do that and I'm just gonna sit down and like crank it out for a couple of hours. Also, I don't know if I've talked about these on YouTube, but these are my new favorite claw clips. I got them in a pack of four and they're actually strong enough and grippy enough to hold up all of my hair, which I have a lot of. So I just like twist it up like that, almost like I'm starting a bun. And then I clip it down the back of my head, if that makes sense. That. 
and it actually holds my hair. So I'm going to do some work now. Monday afternoon. Um, I had a really fun weekend. I went to a few different events last week at the end of last week. Um, I got to go to the ordinary pop-up at the Grove. I went to this like curated gifting suite um, called the Air Milkshake Gifting Suite and I got to learn about a bunch of new beauty, wellness, lifestyle, and fashion brands that I'm excited to share with you. I have some um, new things, new discoveries that I'll be sharing with you in the coming weeks. And then on Saturday, Sean and I went to see Beach House at The Greek, which is one of my favorite LA venues. And I ate a bunch of good meals. It was really fun. But it's back to the grind today. I've been shooting um, content for some brand work that I'm doing all morning, but I have a little bit of time now and I want to do some reorganizing of my beauty closet. I'm not gonna show you all of it because it's honestly a disaster, but that's all to say there's product coming in and out all the time and it's just been a disaster. But let me take you in there and my focus today specifically is to organize and declutter some lipsticks. Okay, hi, I'm sitting on the ground in the closet. It's a very small walk-in closet. I've got my Alex drawers. Um, I have my lipsticks right now in one drawer and they may need to take up two because there's a lot of product. I grabbed a like three pack of these lipstick organizers right now. I'll show you what it looks like right now. My lipsticks are currently in acrylic organizers, but they're not in individual slots, so I can't really see them very well. So we'll see how this organization goes. I might be winging it, but I will link these below. These feel really sturdy and they're very thick and pretty weighty. Um, I know there can be a whole range of acrylic quality when it comes to organizers. So yeah, I'll link these ones below, but let me show you the current <laughs> lipstick situation. So here is the situation. I do have them sort of zoned into these little acrylic containers, but obviously when they're lying sideways, I can't see what's what. And I have the lipsticks here, which are more of like my high-end bullet lipsticks um, with the label up, but they keep tipping over because they don't have individual slots. So I think I'm gonna start here and shift these into these containers and I will speed you through this process um, just so you don't have to go through each one with me one by one. All right, I can already tell I've severely underestimated the number of lipsticks that I have, even though I did a really ruthless declutter when we moved in November, but you know, these things happen. So I've got all of my Tom Ford lipsticks with the exception of one 
Um, I guess their full size ones don't fit in here. These are like their minis or their girls and boys collections, which I don't even think they make anymore, but I like these. And then I've got two NARS lip balms, one Dior Ultra Rouge, a couple of Charlotte Tilbury formulas, one YSL, one Artist Couture, and then my Pat McGrath here. And then in this organizer, I currently have my Chantecai lipsticks. I actually have more that I should probably leave room for, so I'm just gonna leave a few empty. And then I have my Gucci lipsticks, and then I have um, an old MAC lipstick. That should probably go, actually. Um, some Shuamura, and then a couple of Estee Lauder lipsticks. Okay, this actually works out because I have nine Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and four of her glosses, but the glosses don't fit in these containers. So I am going to see if, perfect, yeah, my Merit lip oils will fit in here. I'm just trying to keep things together by brand and formula. Then I need to see if this works, but I have my Victoria Beckham Beauty lipsticks. On this end, I have sort of a mix of drugstore and affordable lipsticks. So I've got my Jason Wu lipsticks, my L'Oreal and Revlon lipsticks, my Milani lipsticks, an Almay lipstick, and then some Urban Decay ones that don't fit in these slots. There are actually a few different lipsticks that don't fit in these slots. So I've got my Byredo, these Rouge liquid lipsticks, the new Fenty refillable lipsticks, this Dior limited edition lipstick that I'm hanging on to for memories. I'm just gonna have to figure out what to do with these. I think I'm going to just slot them in here for now, but essentially these are the remaining bullet lipsticks. These were organized by brand and type at one point. These are like my long skinny lipsticks. So these are the Kevin Aquan and um, Surratt lipsticks. And then I've got some Chantecai lip, what are these called? Lamatte Stilo like lip crayons. I've got a few of those. And then I have another Chantecai lip sleek, the M Cosmetics um, lip cushion. And then I've got this is a flower soft matte lip color. I'm actually going to declutter this because I think I've only used it once or I've just swatched it and I know I can find a good home for this. These are the Estee Lauder Shine lipsticks. This formula is so underrated in my opinion, um, but these can't stand up because they're a little bit too tall for this drawer. And then I've got like a bunch of random lip oils, Tower 28, lip jellies, ColourPop lip oil, ColourPop glossy lip stain, Patrick Ta lip gloss, and then the Dior lip oil. So then my Fenty, Ciate lip oils, Bite Lip Balm, Maybelline Lifter glosses. So I think I'm just going to keep these together for now and reorganize these once I figure out the bullet lipsticks. I think I can declutter this. This was a pony effect, like matte lip souffle kind of product, like a whipped consistency. I loved this shade. It's a beautiful, like burnt terracotta shade, but I think it's okay to let it go now. It's been a few years. I've used it a, quite a few times and it's time to say goodbye. These are all of my lip pencils. I went through these not that long ago. Um, and I do really like and use almost all of these, I think. Let's see. I might as well go through them. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse Love. The M Cosmetics. That's newer and I love that. 
actually I can let this go. This is a Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Lip Liner, a great uh, drugstore option. This is the shade Rose, but I, it's probably expired by now. Then I've got my Persona Cosmetics Lip Liners. These are great and they come in a variety of like different nudes in different depths. So I'm gonna keep those. I have a bunch of Jason Wu lip liners that I do really like and I recommend a lot, especially as an affordable option. So I'm going to keep those. I like to keep them as a shade reference. Linda Hallberg. This one is new, actually. Newish. I just haven't used it that much because it gets lost in all my lip liners, but I'm going to keep it. These are the Fit Glow Beauty lip liners. I like the shade Nude, so I'm going to keep that and I'm going to pass on Buff, which is like a pink. And same with the shade Root, which is like a deeper maroony kind of shade. The Esam lip liners I really, really like, but I actually think I just received a PR package in which they sent over their full collection. So they have new shades as well as their old shades, and these I can probably let go of. Um, I'm just going to set them aside to double check before I get rid of them. Oh gosh. This is the Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade 020. I love this lip liner. I love this shade, but it's so old. This is from like before they reformulated the whole brand and they still have not come out with lip liners. I kept it for a long time because I, I mean, I've clearly loved it, but um, I think it's time to let it go. <laughs> All right, I have my Lawless, uh, what are these called? Forget the Filler Definer Pencils. I really like these. I think they also have some deeper shades that I actually really like when I do want to wear a deeper lip. So I'm going to keep these. I have a couple of Mellow Cosmetics lip liners. These are really nice. Um, they're like a gel consistency and they have nice shades. I just have so many lip liners and I don't use them because I don't see them. So I think I'm going to let these go. Here's another Persona shade, another Jason Wu shade. Oh, I love this formula. This is the Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Lip Liner. This shade specifically, Divine, is a beautiful lip contour shade. So keeping that. And then these are relatively newish. These are the 1999 Beauty Lip Liners, or this one is new, the Fiore shade. Um, this I'm going to declutter. This is by Navy Beauty, their Tan Line Long Wear Lip Liner. I do really like this. Um, it's a really nice nude shade, but I just have so many in other formulas that I prefer. And then this is the Jouer lip liner, which is also relatively new to my collection. So I'm going to keep that. So I actually did declutter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lip liners, plus the Esam ones that I may be decluttering if I have replacements. Here I have more glosses. I think I can let go of this one. This is a Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Call Me, which is a beautiful like burnt orange shade, but Marc Jacobs is like discontinued now and this is probably really old. McGrath lip glosses, we'll be keeping those, as well as a Smashbox lip gloss. Oh, I really like that one, actually. I'm keeping that. Some Bite, Lawless, and then Fenty. I've got my Fit Glow Beauty lip color serums, Rowan, Victoria Beckham lip stains, a Tom Ford gloss, a rouge lipstick. 
Actually, I just realized I have this brand new Dior Lip Maximizer as well as this Dior Gloss, Ultra Gloss. They're different but similar enough that I think I can keep the new one and declutter this one, which is actually probably really old. The formula is starting to separate in the tube, so it's probably time to let that go. In the back here, I've got all of my old <laughs> Glossier Vanillic lips, which I've been hanging on to because I love this formula, but it's probably time to let these go, and they're discontinued anyway. I'm really sad about it because this formula was beautiful, but yeah, it's time to let go, right? Yes. I have been hanging on to this formula, the YSL Tatouage Couture, especially in this shade 1, which is an amazing bright red. I've held it onto it so that I remember to repurchase it. <laughs> So I'm going to pull this out as a reminder to myself that I do want to repurchase this formula because it's one of the few liquid lipstick formulas, like matte liquid lipstick formulas that I actually like and it feels more like a lip stain. Okay, I've come up with a different solution. I've decided I'm going to prioritize bullet lipsticks in this drawer with room to grow because I need the room. And I have moved the glosses, the lip pencils, the lip oils, all of that stuff into this drawer. Actually, I am going to declutter this. This is the Bobbi Brown oil infused gloss in the shade Free Spirit. I really love this formula, but it's a few years old. It's overlooked in my collection, and I think it's just time to let go. So I think that's it for now. I've definitely got space back here for room to grow. I've got my bullet lipsticks and lipsticks in odd packaging. And then I've got my lip balms, lip glosses, lip oils, lip pencils, lip stains, alternative lip formulas. So here's everything I let go of. It ended up being a lot more than I thought it would be. I have all my lip pencils, that Flower Beauty liquid lipstick, all of the Glossier Play Vanillic Lips, the Marc Jacobs gloss, the old Dior gloss, the old Bobbi Brown gloss, the Pony Effect liquid lipstick, and this little mini. So that actually clears up a good amount of space. I'm pretty happy with that. So I think I'm gonna stop there. I am exhausted. That only took like an hour, but it felt like a lot of brain energy. <laughs> so I'm going to go get dinner together, figure something out. And I actually think I am going to sign the vlog off here. I know it's probably been kind of a random mishmash of things, day in the life sort of stuff, but I'm having a lot of fun um, putting these vlogs together and I hope you enjoyed. So I will see you in the next one.